Hey guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm sharing another week of school lunch inspiration. Okay guys, so I have a lot of fun ideas to share with you today, but before I jump right in, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like school lunch videos. Now let's get started. Good morning guys and happy Monday. So the theme of today's lunches is use what you've got. I did not make it to the store over the weekend, so I'm kind of running low on fresh things, but I do have a lot of things in the house that I'm trying to use up, so that's what we're going with today. And I am packing some snacks um, for the kids as well, so I think I'll start there. Now in these cute little goldfish containers, you would think that I have goldfish, but I actually don't. I just have a few of these little cheddar crackers because this box has been open for a couple of days now and I'm trying to use it up. But I only sent them with a couple. Um, I definitely don't fill the whole thing with crackers because I would prefer for the kids to eat this for their snack. But to tell you the truth, the kids aren't super crazy about these because these ones have the hidden veggies and my kids can tell the difference. But I have three of these left and I would really like to use them up. So I'm gonna send this and hope for the best. Moving on to the lunch. Now, like normal, they're pretty much the same, just Lily has a little bit different. So I'll go ahead and start with Mackenzie's. Now today, I'm actually packing leftovers. I have some, I can't remember if it's mandarin chicken or orange chicken, but it's the kind that you get at Trader Joe's. It's fully cooked and you just heat it up. It's actually really good, but I had a lot of leftovers from uh, last night's dinner. So I just reheated it till it was really hot and then stuck it in here. And then to go along with that, I was out of a lot of fresh fruit, so Today, it's all about the pineapple. My kids love pineapple. And to go along with that, I have the last few cucumbers from the big Costco bag. Instead of cutting them in rounds today, I cut them in sticks. So maybe the kids will think it's something fun and new and they'll decide to eat it. I'm not quite sure, but that's my strategy. So to go along with that, I did pack a little teeny thing of ranch, just like that. And then for some calcium and dairy, I'm sending a little yogurt tube. Now I would have liked to have uh, frozen these. I like to freeze them, but I forgot. So maybe I'll just, I'll just stick a cool pack in there as well. And I thought it'd be really fun to go ahead since they're doing um, Mandarin chicken to include the kids' little training chopsticks. They're just like this, isn't that cute? They have like a little finger thing there. I found these at Daiso, which is like the Japanese uh, dollar store. So I'll go ahead and put those in, but just in case, I did, I did pack their regular fork as well. Okay guys, so it is now about 4.30 on Monday, and I'm finally getting around to checking the lunches. Kenzie, what was the best part of lunch today? The orange chicken. The orange chicken, yeah? Was it still hot? Yeah. Yeah? That's good. I heard Lily say that she liked the pineapple the best. So, it looks like you guys did really good, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek here. Yep, you ate all of your chicken. That's you ate all of your pineapple and your cucumber. I think it totally worked to cut the cucumbers lengthwise this time because Lily thought that they were celery. So she's like, Mom, I ate all my celery. So I totally tricked her. Did you use your chopsticks? Yeah. Yeah, did it work out really good? Yeah, can I show them? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can do it now. Awesome. Okay, moving on to Jackson's. He ate all of his orange chicken, so that's really good. He likes orange chicken too. Yeah, got it. Got the chopsticks, the spoon. He ate everything, it's all gone. Let's see, all the crackers are gone. You guys must have been hungry today, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's check Lily's. I can't believe Lily's is gone. She never finishes her food. That's amazing. Okay, and everything else is gone. There you go. So today was a total success. I will totally be serving orange chicken again. That was, that was a win in my book. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Now the lunches seem pretty full today, and I also have snacks. And that's because we're gonna be gone for most of the day into the evening. So, I'll go ahead and show you what I packed. Starting with Mackenzie's, I have something a little bit different today, and that is egg salad on a mini croissant. Now my kids haven't had egg salad in a while, so I'm not quite sure how that's gonna go, but I think they'll like it. And I like putting it on the croissant. It doesn't get as soggy as 
white bread does. And I'm keeping the sandwich together with this cute little pick so it's not gonna flop open and spill out everywhere, hopefully. Now I'm also packing some celery sticks with some hummus instead of ranch to dip them in this time. And I'm also packing some kiwis. Now I'm also packing some fruit punch today. And for the snacks, I'm also packing this go-go squeeze and this is the apple strawberry flavor. And then in here I have some pop chips. But these pop chips are actually Star Wars shape. Now unfortunately it seems most of these are actually broken so you can't really tell what the shape is but I think the kids will still like them. And just like normal, Jackson's lunch and Lily's lunch are pretty much the same, just the quantities might be a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of my lids on, put my ice pack in there, and then we'll be out the door. Okay guys, so we're back home now, and it is about 4.35. I've got Mackenzie here helping me. Hi. So let's see what they ate today, starting with your lunch, starting with Mackenzie's. Ooh, it looks like you ate everything. So what did you think about the hummus today? The hummus was very good. Was it good? This was a garlic roasted hummus actually. So, do you like ranch or hummus or do you like both? Both. Both? Okay, good. Good job. Now let's see how Jackson did. Jackson. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, Jackson didn't eat all of his pop chips. You don't, I was full. You don't like pop chips? No, I was just full because I ate some lots of that except. Oh you, ate all, oh, you ate all of your egg salad? That's great. So he ate everything. I would say the egg salad was a win. I would definitely make that again, or maybe chicken salad. Okay, now we're on to Lily's. So Lily, you didn't eat all your pop chips. Was your tummy full? Yeah. Or you just wanted to play? I just wanted to play. Okay, let's see. Okay, so Lily ate most of her hummus. There's just a little bit left. The egg salad got a little bit messy in your box, but that's okay. She ate most of her sandwich, just a little bit left. I got all of my picks back. Did you like your kiwi? Yeah. And you just have a little bit of celery left. So, very good job today, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys, and happy Wednesday. Now, on Wednesdays, we eat lunch at home. So today, I've made some mini English muffin pizzas. Here's how I made them. I just took some whole wheat English muffins, added a little bit of marinara sauce, some mozzarella cheese, and some turkey pepperoni. And then I stuck this in my oven for about 10 minutes. So here we have Mackenzie's. And as you can tell, I gave her one whole English muffin, so two halves. I'm also serving some grapes, and some yogurt. Today she has the strawberry Dannon yogurt. I also added some leftover corn from dinner last night. And as you can see, Jackson has pretty much the same two little pizzas. And then Lily has a little bit less. I just gave her one and a half pizzas and I did cut up her grapes. I'm gonna go ahead and serve this to the kids and then when we're all done, I will show you what they ate. Here is what we are left with. Now overall, I would say that the pizzas were a success, but the corn was not a success. I probably would not serve this corn again. This was just some organic frozen corn that I heated up and they did not, they did not like it. These girls did not like it. Jackson actually put his in his yogurt and then ate it, which I thought was really gross, but he ate it and he didn't really make a mess, so I guess it's okay. And Lily did Lily's normal thing. She took all the pepperonis off of her pizza, most of the cheese, and left the crust. Now I have to say, I tried one of her um, pizzas and the whole wheat English muffin really tasted like whole wheat. So they're not a huge fan of that. I was just trying to go like a healthier route with the whole wheat, but I don't know, maybe next time I would use like a sourdough English muffin instead. Now Lily also ate all of her grapes, all of her yogurt, and like I said, she was not a fan of the corn. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys and happy Thursday. So here's what I'm packing today. And just like normal, these are pretty much all the same. So I'll go ahead and show you Mackenzie's. In the thermos today, I packed about four meatballs in some marinara sauce. I just heated it up as hot as I could get it and stuck it in the thermos. Now in this little container, I have some grapes, some Havarti cheese, a little Hawaiian roll which I've cut in half in case they wanted to make a little meatball sandwich that would be really fun and tasty 
And then I have something new that the kids have never had before. It's these little edamame pods. They've never had them before. I think they'll be okay, but we'll see. I just get I just got these ones from Trader Joe's. They're like a they're already salted, already cooked. You just have to defrost them. I'm also sending some juice today and a special treat in their lunch. These are little mini Dutch Stroop waffles, which are these guys. These are so good. These come from the Netherlands, and it's basically like a crunchy waffle outside with some yummy caramel inside. But you just get one little teeny one in here, so it's a fun little treat for the kids. And then for snack today, I have two different things. First, I have an unsweetened applesauce, and then I'm also sending these a mini crunchy cookies. Now these are basically a honey graham cracker, but just in a circle shape. So little graham cracker cookies. So I'm gonna go ahead and send them with their water bottles, and then when we get back, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, we're back home now, and excuse my yawning, I definitely could use a nap right now, but that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Mackenzie's. Now I'm not gonna recap what I put in here because I know I just told you guys what I put in here. But here's Mackenzie's and let's check the thermos. Mackenzie's right here. Say hi. Hi. Let's see. Oh no, you left two meatballs? I know, I was full. You were full? Well, I only gave you four, so next time should I give you two? Yeah. Okay, well, but these are still good. You can eat these later. Okay. Okay, and this one is empty. Good job. All right, let's move on to Jackson's, if I can find his zipper here. Okay, so let's check his thermos. Oh, oh no, he just has a little bit of sauce. He ate all of his meatballs, and I have kind of a mess in here. Let's see, uh-oh. He did not do very well at all. He did not eat his cheese. It doesn't look like he ate any. Uh, maybe he ate one pod of edamame. He never um, tried this before, so I think he didn't want to try them. And, oh, I found a missing meatball. It's in there. But you know what? This, it's not too late. He could probably still eat this. I don't I'm think this is bad yet. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat this. Yeah, this is still good. I think you can still, he can still eat that. And so that's not too, not too bad. Not the best. I'm not sure if he liked the edamame. Let's see. For Lily, she still has her cookies left. Let's check her thermos. Oh, she has three meatballs left. She only ate one meatball. That's not very good. And in here, she ate everything except for some bread and a little bit of cheese. So maybe I packed too much today. So tomorrow, oh, and she did eat her edamame. She told me that she really liked it, which I was surprised, really surprised about. So, but maybe less food tomorrow. Good morning guys and happy Friday. Today I have a really fun lunch pack, so let me show you what we've got. I'll go ahead and start with the snacks first because I am packing snacks today. Each kid is taking just a regular string cheese and then inside their little snack pouch, I packed a few of these little pretzel crisps. Now these are actually the garlic parmesan crisps, which we haven't tried before, so hopefully the kids will like them. And then for the main lunch, I have some really fun ideas today. First off, I'm sending a yogurt parfait with blueberries and granola. Now I'm using a plastic ball jar that's actually made for making jam or storing jam. And these little cups are the perfect size and they have a nice lid, which is really tight. It's not gonna let anything leak. Inside here, I just have a layer of fresh blueberries, some vanilla Greek yogurt, and some coconut cashew butter granola on top. Yum. I should have made one for myself, it looks so good. Now to go along with that, I'm also sending a homemade muffin. These are just made from some leftover bananas that were getting too ripe, and some whole wheat, and these are really tasty. With that, I'm also sending some ants on a log, which the kids like, but I'm afraid might get a little bit messy in the lunchbox, so we'll see. And lastly, I'm sending one hard-boiled egg. Now I used my egg molds, and I'll show you how I did that. So I started these eggs last night. I just hard boiled half a dozen eggs, and then while they were still warm, I peeled them, and I stuck a couple into these little molds. I have one heart-shaped mold and one star-shaped mold. Then I stuck them in the fridge overnight, and now I'm ready to unmold them. And as you can see, it takes a shape, sort of, of the heart. So here's the heart-shaped one. 
And then here is the star shaped one. So yeah, you just have to make sure that your eggs are extra large or they don't really mold as easily. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in half. There we go. I'm just gonna put it in my little container. And then I just take a little bit of sea salt and sprinkle it on top. I think the kids will really like these. These egg molds are really awesome. I actually got these at Daiso, which is like the Japanese dollar store, but you can find them on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a link down below. Okay guys, so I just have to get all of my lids on. I am gonna be packing an ice pack today and then we'll be ready to head out the door. Okay guys, so it's almost five o'clock now and I can finally show you what we ended up with. So, we have Mackenzie's, we have Jackson's, and Lily's. Now I can tell you that Lily actually ate, ended up eating half of her yogurt during lunch and she ate the rest of it for a snack later. So it was a little bit too much for her all at once. But she did eat her pretzels and her muffin. She really liked her muffin. And as you can tell, she wasn't a fan of the ants on a log. It looks like she maybe ate a couple of raisins and that was it. So, and she did only eat half of her egg. So uh, next time I would definitely pack her a little bit less, but overall she did pretty good. And Jackson, let's see, he ate all, oh, there's one pretzel left in here, I can feel it. And I thought this was really funny, look. He ate the celery and the peanut butter, but he left the raisins. So I guess he's not a fan of raisins. He did eat all of his yogurt, except I see like two, maybe two blueberries in there. And he said that he really liked the yogurt. So he did really good there. And he ate all of his eggs. And so yeah, overall he did really well. And the same with Mackenzie. She ate all of her yogurt. She ate all of her eggs. And then she also left a piece of the ants on a log. So I might do this a little bit differently next time. And there you have it. Okay friends, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, could you please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because next week I'm planning Halloween themed school lunches and I can't wait to share them with you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.